All right, Brian Kemp's campaign declaring victory in the governor's race. Stacey Abrams' campaign saying not so fast. Around 4.30 this afternoon on a media conference call, the Kemp camp said it's not possible for Abrams to get enough votes to force a runoff. I think the message here uh, is pretty simple. Uh, the takeaway is clear. Uh, this election is over. Uh, the votes have been counted, uh, and there's a clear winner. Brian Kemp is the governor-elect in Georgia. Uh, based on what we know right now with the votes that are outstanding, it is impossible between the absentees that are outstanding and the provisionals that are outstanding. It is impossible for her uh, to force this into a runoff or into a recount. A look at the numbers. Camp with 50.3%, Abrams 48.7%. Austin Chambers, who you just heard from with the Kemp camp, said on that conference call, there's 22,000 outstanding provisional ballots and 3,000 absentee ballots, and Abrams simply cannot overcome the margin. The Kemp campaign now calling on Abrams to concede, claiming that over the last 20 hours, the Democrats' story has changed, but Kemp's lead has not. First, they said it was the outstanding precincts that was going to get them there. Then they said it was the absentee ballots that was going to close the deal for them. Now they're saying, oh, we just needed the provisionals. That was going to get us there. Well, that's not the case based on, on the provisionals that have been reported to us thus far. And what we know is outstanding. The math does not get them there. Uh, but, you know, losing politicians and desperate politicians do desperate things. So who knows what they're going to throw next. But we know this. It's not going to change the outcome.